Well, the Ball Gowns exhibition at the uh, Victoria and Albert Museum has come about because the museum itself has got a fantastic collection of uh, real exhibits, and they decided to put on a show showing Ball Gowns since 1950. And what they've done is ha have a two-part exhibition, one showing their collection, and then higher up they've got a marvellous collection uh, submitted by owners and present-day designers. We have got a very nice contrast between the two. The exhibition is actually on, like a wedding cake, is on two levels, but has a view of this uh, splendid space, which not only is a domed space, but has within it four uh, big alcoves, which form a very important part of the exhibition. Now, as it happened, the museum had got some very fine photographs of uh, some of the exhibits uh, taken by David Hughes, and it was natural to ask whether these could not be used to support the exhibition. And this was actually done by a production group called uh, uh, Fletcher Wilson um, in the person of Rollo Hollins. And he designed uh, video sequences to appear in the alcoves. The prime uh, projectors used are projection design F32s, which are very high resolution, they're WUXGA. And each screen, as previously mentioned, needs two of them. They're they have to use very wide-angle lenses because the projection distance is being kept short to make the system unobtrusive. And in fact, the, the double projector stack is an especially constructed housing. And uh, its flexibility was very important because actually the fine-tuning of the images to get them to actually look absolutely right in the alcove was quite a time-consuming process, but depended on the fact that the hardware supplied could actually do the job, which it did, and the result is very nice.